it's hard for me to to remember this now. I started eating so much sweets and eating all the things that, that are not healthy. I gained so much weight. For me, it was a way to escape the reality. I didn't really think about the consequences of that. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back in our channel. My name is Carolina Bastis and I'm a professional ballet dancer of Bavarian State Ballet. It's actually the first time that I'm opening myself, talking about what happened a few years ago with my body. Only few people know about what actually happened, the people that were around me at the time and my family as well. I think it's a very important topic to talk about it and by sharing my story I hope I'll be able to help you who might be struggling with your weight and perhaps going through the same phase as one day I went through. But before we start, I want to mention that I'm not here to give any professional advice. I'm just here to share my story with all of you. If you have any questions about body image, don't hesitate to leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer all of them. How did I end up gaining weight? What did I do? What were the things going through my mind at the time? How did I deal with the situation? Those are things that for so long I struggled and had a lot of difficulties to overcome. I would like to start from the very beginning. As a child growing up, I was very healthy. I used to eat all the salads, vegetables. I never had any problems eating healthy food. But I also would eat other things like, I don't know, chocolate. I, would, I love chocolate so much. So I will eat anything and I would never worry about my body. I had this slim figure. I never had any problems uh, with my weight. I was around 15 years old. I wanted to to leave my country because I didn't see my future there anymore in Brazil. I participated in this competition Prix de Lausanne on which I received few scholarships and one of them was Ballet Academy Hochschule for Musik und Theater. It's here in Germany, in Munich. So I moved to Germany, I was 16 years old. Once I arrived here, it was it was hard. <laughs> I mean, you're a young girl, you just left your country, you don't have your family near anymore. I found myself alone. When I was in Brazil, my mom used to be with me the whole time. She used to drive me from, from home to the school. She would take care of me about everything, especially the food. As I also like to eat healthy, she used to cook like vegetables, salad, chicken, meat. So I was here in Germany by myself, didn't have my mom anymore. I basically had to figure out by myself what to eat and how to eat. And this was quite quite tricky for me. In the beginning I tried to keep in the same way of eating like I, as I used to, but I think it was just completely a new environment. For example, the timetable in the school was completely different than I used to have in Brazil. I would not really eat lunch at the time that I used to, at 12 or at 1 o'clock. I would eat later in the afternoon or sometimes not even really have a proper meal. I would have a snack and then in the evening I would eat like a much bigger portion because as I didn't have enough food in the afternoon I would eat a little bit more to compensate so and this was completely wrong <laughs> but I didn't really realize at the time also for breakfast I would eat cornflakes with milk like every day in the morning and I mean <laughs> It's also not healthy at all. After a while, I see my body was changing, of course. For me, in my opinion, it's important to have the proper meal in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. But also something else that I didn't really realize at the time, sometimes we forget how impacting it can be on us, is the puberty. I was 16 years old, a young woman who was, in the end of the day, only going through puberty and full of hormones in my body. One of the things that happens to us during this period of our lives, body becomes curvier, uh, we gain weight on the hips, the breast develops and so on. And isn't this the beauty of human beings? the growth in all senses. But in this case, it's the 
fascinating part of developing into a woman. As I am more aware of what happened, I have a better understanding and the knowledge itself that I got out of my own experience. In our industry, ballet, uh, especially if you follow as a profession, you must have a certain figure. You must be skinny, of course, as much as your body allows you to, and always in a healthy way. You must take care because that's what they expect you to. And I remember this year, it was my first year here in Munich. It would be like a roller coaster throughout the year. I would gain, I would lose. And this was just my body, my the metabolism that was making my, my, my body change so fast in such a short period of time. And I wouldn't think at any moment that this was puberty. I would just think that why am I gaining weight? And something that now I know and understand exactly what happened at the time I really felt bad uh, to see my body changing so much today I really watch I look back and I see that I was just completely normal and in that period um, my confidence went lower and lower I wouldn't feel comfortable dancing I would always worry about what they were thinking of me and about my body it was really really hard I would try to do a lot of things especially the way of eating like eating healthier but nothing seemed to work because it's a long way of um, understanding your body how it works what kind of food is right for you what kind of exercises are good for you it takes time to have this full control of your body and I can say that even today I'm still not 100% uh, in control of my body. Sometimes it, it does change a little bit, of course, not extreme, but I, I feel that I, I gain a little bit of weight. It's just because now I understand how it works much better. It's a learning process, so I'm still working on finding out what's the best and how I can improve my body. As the time passes by, we were almost in the end of the season. We were preparing for our last performance and also for the graduation exam. One day during class, precisely doing a big jump, I got injured. I fall from this big jump, I twisted my foot, I ruptured a ligament. It was really quite bad. It was my first injury and I remember being devastated. Just so many emotions, so many feelings at the same time. I was very sad because I wouldn't be able to to make this last performance with my school, especially the exam as well, because it was, I think, maybe a week or two weeks later. It was just a breakdown for me. It was even harder because I was basically by myself. I mean, of course, I had the support of my mom. I can say that she helped me so much to go through this injury, even from far. And I could just be at home and I had to rest. I couldn't do much, also because it was really painful, so I couldn't walk. I had to stay at home. I just saw myself in a position that I felt like eating a lot. Um, I had this obsession with sweets and I wouldn't put any limit. <sighs> I was just, I wasn't myself anymore in a way. I just thought my, with myself, I'm here, I'm not doing nothing and if I eat, at least I'm doing something good for me, for myself. <laughs> terrible mindset. I thought also like once I come back I will be fine, I will lose again. Wrong way of thinking. I had to stay around eight weeks. It was almost holidays, summer holidays, so I went to Brazil. My body was big, I can say, and there I was with my foot much better so I could take some classes. I also started taking care of my body there with my mom, she helped me a lot. We are trying kind of eating healthy, so I really tried to change the way how I used to think about the food and putting limits on myself. And also because I would join the junior company the next season after the summer holidays. I had to be good with myself first of all and not feel ashamed of myself. So I joined the junior company. My body wasn't good enough. I had a lot of pressure from myself and plus pressure from outside as well because I was already working as a professional ballet dancer. One of the things that they expect you to do is to, to be in shape. Throughout the year 
somehow my body started changing for better. I was quite happy, it took a bit of time, but I was working on it and even though it was really hard, I tried to keep my mind healthy, I tried to think positive. I was losing weight and I was really happy. I was dancing quite a lot and it was really good for me this period. But then again, 10 months later from my previous injury, another big injury happens on the same foot and I break a ligament again. I already had danced this main role of Bourneville but I was preparing to dance it again. I had to stop for quite a while, probably like around 9-10 weeks. It was a really shocking moment for me, the second injury. I really lost myself, I really did. So I started eating so much in sweets and eating all the things that, that are not healthy. I gained so much weight. For me it was a way to escape the reality and I didn't really think about the consequences of that. I couldn't believe that it happened again. I knew all the process that I would have to go through, all the time that I would lose as well, and time for us ballet dancers is precious. It was extremely hard for me. I think even more than the first injury. One of the reasons that I think it happened, this injury again, is because, first of all, I didn't really take care as I should have. When it's the beginning of um, your career as professional, you want, in a way, to show yourself. I wanted to do everything full out, do all the combinations. Thinking back, I wasn't ready to do everything what I did in this beginning um, of the junior company. That's life, that's how you learn. We used to live in a boarding house. Also the studio of the junior company would be outside. For example, from my window I could see the studio and I could see my colleagues working and everything. So I would be at home <laughs> again injured. I would look down and I would see them working and you feel that you're losing time. You feel that you want to go back in the studio and you want to do as much as you can. And I would find myself again eating eating a lot like I didn't put any limits again um, I would just yeah I'll just eat <laughs> it's hard for me to to remember this now But um, I believe that everything happens uh, for a reason. It was meant to happen this to me, uh, this change of my body multiple times. This just made me like much stronger as a woman, as a professional dancer. I understand much more how it works, my body, and I'm in in a, such a healthy state of mind right now. Maybe perhaps if I wouldn't have passed through through this period of my life, I wouldn't be the way how I am today. It was a time that I met Ariel. We started hanging out. Basically, after the first two weeks that we met, we were already in a relationship. He helped me so much. It was like an angel, you know, coming down to earth. It's hard for people around you to come to you and talk about the way, about your body. Body. It's really hard, but as I, we had like slowly, uh, we were building up a relationship. He was really sweet, and he really came to me to talk in a in a very good way. I was basically eating a full plate of pasta, close enough to what he was eating. Then he used to tell me like, why do you eat that much? You don't need. But it was always like in a really good way. With him, I started realizing that I still could minimize a lot more from what I was eating. Because then he would put, for example, the plate of food for me <laughs> and I would be like, but what? This is nothing. <laughs> because I was used to eat like a bigger portion. It was hard in the beginning, but then slowly I was doing quite well, started losing a lot of weight, I was much happier. I mean, we were great together since the beginning, so it was just everything going on perfectly. I always wanted to do ballet, to become a professional. If I would keep my body 
the way how it was, it would be a lot harder to find a company. That's what requires to be a professional ballet dancer. Good technique, artist team, and of course the weight. It's really important. I made a lot of effort because that's what I really wanted. But don't try to change something that you don't want to. Don't try to change something that you don't feel like. Everything what I did, it was because I wanted to follow this path. So in the end I did lose quite a lot of weight, I did manage to get into the company, I really felt that all the effort that I did was worth it and I could see the results of it. So I was incredibly happy and it was a great moment for me. Don't give up in anything in life because if you give up, what was all the effort, all the dream, all the, the wish that you had, what was it for? For nothing. And if you don't follow your dream, and then what is life for? In my opinion, life is to, to live your big dream. Life is to... This <laughs> guy is sleepy. <laughs> Life is to enjoy every moment, respect the process of growing up, of developing. If you don't, if you just hurt yourself, this is not gonna help you get anywhere. Do not feel ashamed at any moment. Give love to your body, because if you don't give love to yourself, who will? We are the first ones that should give love to ourselves. No matter how you feel about your body, respect this moment that you might be going through. Take this time as a learning process and I'm pretty sure that if you if you keep on track and if you, you give your best and if you really want to change, you will because the power of mind, it's unbelievable. So if there is something that you want to do, you will do it. Believe in yourself. That's the key Word. I'm really happy for being here today and opening myself. It's the first time that I'm doing that. I'm very, very glad to be here and sharing this story with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave something to you. I gave hope, I gave a bit of positivity. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, please subscribe in our channel. Uh, we like to bring inspirational videos for you guys. We have some interviews with people from the ballet world sharing their story with us. If you are interested, go and check, check out these interviews. If you have any question, just comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of you. If you think that there is a friend of yours might be in need of listening to this video, do not hesitate to send to this friend of yours. Then that's it! I guess I will see you guys soon in our next video. Mwah. Ciao, ciao!